a historic animal rights victory to tell you about. A massive animal testing lab in Oklahoma has been shut down. Hundreds of dogs and cats that were being used as test subjects. They have been rescued. Now, one of the people who helped make all this happen is, Sh is Shannon Keith. She's the president and founder of the Beagle Freedom Project, which is based in Los Angeles. Shannon, you are an angel. Mm. Thank you for what you do, and thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us about how this happened. How were you able to successfully shut down this testing facility and get it officially closed? We've been working with this laboratory for years, this um, individual who has this facility with over 200 dogs and cats. And we've been um, taking dogs and cats from them when they're no longer needed for testing. And we developed a relationship. And we just came to terms that um, this facility needs to close. And us take custody, Beagle Freedom Project, of all of the animals. And we worked out, and uh, it happened today. <laughs> so, is it basically, is it that you bought the facility and then just shut it down? No, we actually just purchased the land. Um, he relinquished his USDA license. Uh, that was part of our agreement, was that he would stop animal testing. We didn't give any money towards his business, business whatsoever. We just bought the land. That way we could turn the place into a sanctuary. So what is next for those animals that were there? We're so excited to turn this into a rehabilitation center. So these beautiful dogs and cats who you're seeing are finally free. We're going to be able to open the cages once we get them all spayed and neutered um, and find a wonderful homes for them so people can apply to foster or adopt, turn it into what we're dubbing Freedom Fields with a luscious dog park, sweets for the dogs and cats and other animals as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so you are physically in Oklahoma right now where this is all happening, but you're based here in Los Angeles. So once these dogs do and cats go up for adoption, people will be able to still get them here in Southern California. How do viewers get involved? Yes, they can. They can uh, apply to foster and adopt at BFP.org. I don't know if you can see these adorable puppies behind me, but they're newborns. Yes. We have <laughs> several litters there because they were um, breeding there. So people can apply to foster or adopt them, I'm actually going to drive home and bring home a lot of these dogs and puppies to Los Angeles. So we'll have plenty there for people to choose from. What were they being tested for? How, what was that like? They were doing toxicity testing for flea and tick medications. So a lot of people don't know that really these animals go through testing that really is not fair to them. It's not ethical and it's not safe. And there are many other alternatives. There are natural alternatives to flea and tick testing. Hmm. You guys have been doing some really good work. The last time one of these things got a lot of attention, we remember uh, Meghan Markle adopted one. Our producer Greg here <laughs> still has one at home. A lot of folks got involved in that. Any updates on how those dogs are doing? Yes, those dogs are all doing amazing. Um, Mama Mia, who Meghan and Harry adopted, is doing fabulous uh, she's a royal princess uh, we have amazing adopters yeah i would hope so i hope mama mia is yeah. doing just fine that's one lucky dog yeah one lucky dog my yeah. goodness okay well uh for you at home if you'd like more information as she said as shannon said you can visit bfp.org and maybe bring one of these little lovelies into your family those faces are so sweet shannon keith thank you so much thank you